She's already making fun so, of my shirt. He's so dirty. <laughs> I, I'm just shocked. I take care of his clothes. But yeah, I just can't believe how dirty this shirt is. I can't believe it ended up in your clean clothes. But good morning, everybody. <laughs> I am getting rigged up here. We are doing a little bit of fishing slash crabbing slash exploring kind of day. Yeah, we haven't been crabbing in like a month since we went with Megan, if you saw that video. Yes. And, my uh, sister, Megan. <laughs> yes, of course. Just in case. Yes, of course. But if you're new to the channel, we are a Florida fishing yes. couple. My name is Darcy. That's Brian. Darcy's all put in. It's gorgeous out here, actually. So beautiful. It's supposed to be a heat wave. It's supposed to be, it might be yes. 90 degrees today. It's February 27th. I'm, I know, and you guys are going to say about my jacket, I'm a little chilly right now. I don't know what to tell you. I'm a chilly Florida girl. Morning dude. Yeah. Hooked up. Not really sure what it is, but we are decided to do some fishing this morning first. Oh yeah, it's a nice jack. Decided to do some fishing before we go do the trap because we have an outgoing tide, we got moving current, and we decided to look for some fish. So if you're quiet and you sit down in the same spot, we ended up seeing some tarpon rolling. So we decided to fish some artificials. We're both throwing DOA lures. And I just got the first fish in the boat on the DOA bait buster. And Brian was just telling me to stop fishing it because I don't catch fish on it. But I do. I, I did just say that. He literally did. And I just proved him wrong. All right, so first fish in the boat. I'm gonna get it right back out because there's tarpon rolling everywhere. Yeah. Okay, good. Woohoo. Nice hook set. There we go. And I always like to do this for good luck. I let the first fish go. He's not good to eat. Action. He just. What is it? What is it? It's a little baby snook. A little baby snook? Yeah. He did a nice big jump on this short rod. What the heck? I was just posted on TikTok. I gotta get the net. I gotta get the net. No, I think we're okay. Don't lose my fish. You wanna get the net? No, he told me not to get the net, remember? And it should be, you can't tell. You see him? We got a nice one. Oh, I got it wrapped. All right. Grab by his lip. All right. We got him. Well, that was really close to my knee. He's clean. Gorgeous fish, yeah. All right, let me get him unwrapped here. All right, that was quick and painless there. Let's let that beautiful fish go. Nice. Nice. That's what you want to see. All right, let's see if we can get onto bigger fish now. They're getting bigger, they're getting bigger. <laughs> okay, so this is one of my lures, and this is actually a Rapala, not the typical ones I would troll in shore, but I've changed the hooks because they were set for smaller fish, like bass, I guess, but I changed them to heavy duty hooks. So we just caught that fish on this little guy. We usually have a lot of Azuris out, and these all dive about four to six feet deep and Brian is keeping the boat in gear, and we're just driving close to structure where fish are hanging out. And that's how we catch them. Four rods out, all different lengths. That way they don't catch each other. All right, let's go. Oh my God, he's off. No, he's not. Take this. Big snook, big snook. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's not that big, he's not that big, he's big. He's big, baby, he's big. Real big. Nice fish, baby. <laughs> On the x trap. I'm gonna get the ladder ready. I'm yeah, gonna you need to get the net ready. Take your time. We're okay. Just turn the boat when you get a chance. I'm not turning nothing. Nice snook, man. All right, it's coming this way. Hold on. Swim forward, boat forward, boat forward, boat forward. All right, here we go. Yeah, baby! <laughs> that is a nice one! That's, that's got a key! <laughs> Anyways, heck yeah! On the Rapala x wrap baby! I knew to troll, and I just changed those hooks out. Oh, sharp hooks, baby, that's what you gotta do out here. Look at that gorgeous fish. On the lowest tide ever. And Brian was turning around, making a turn. And I, so this fish was just sitting there, like in this big old, big old lure goes by her, and she was hungry. So it's a lot about reaction strike here. But that's it. this is a gorgeous fish. Fat, clean. Look how gorgeous. I don't think it's a river fish. 
Oh, that was so sick. <laughs> that was so sick. All right, let's get this fish on the marine mat deck real quick. Get a quick measurement. And we got to let it go, if so. Pretty sure. No, he's definitely, I think he's going to be 29, 30. Yeah. We got a keeper. What is he? 29. Yeah. And I've got no ice. Well, we have all this frozen stuff in here. We can buy ice, too. Look at that beauty. We just got a keeper slot snook in our home waters. How sick. It's been a minute since we've caught a keeper snook. A gorgeous, clean snook. I'm going to keep my one snook a year right now. Nice. Gorgeous. What? By the way, guys, this video is brought to you by Hair Club. And that lure we fished, you know, all that is in my Amazon store. I'll link that down below if you guys want to fish what we fish. You can see it works. I mean, that's a gorgeous fish. No complaints here. And I'm also going to link uh, my promo code for Hair Club down below for men and women, hair or no hair, they can help you. All right, let's get some more fish. All that stuff below him is cold. So it's just like a big yeah. block of ice. It's all frozen bait for the... Yeah. Uh, it's literally just not ice, but frozen fish. Yes, yeah, frozen fish for the crabbing. Yes. And uh, I've actually been working on like an instructional guide on trolling. And this is really a great example. Like you can slay the fish like this. So um, put, I mean, comment down bleeder. below if you're interested in seeing some sort of like... So oh, a good idea. Uh, comment down below if you're interested in an instructional guide on trolling. It'll be more of a written as opposed to video. Yes, yeah, is going to show you how she... Uh, yeah, I just, I don't have like a solid thing of ice to put on her or, or anything like that. So I'm just afraid she might take a while to, to die. But also bleeding a snook will make it more tasty too. Oh, goodness gracious. I just what? got stabbed by that. By the ice? Tilapia. Yes. All right, but all you do really is just, I'm going to rake the gill plates and keep her intact. But you can also cut right here in the throat area. And you got to watch out on a snook particularly. They have a very sharp gill plate. Yes. Everybody always tells me to be careful of that, but right here, that's razor sharp. Yeah. Luckily, it's been years since I've been punctured by that. There you go. Nice. All right. All right. We'll put her down a little bit. All right, looks like we got to buy some ice. We can't just rely on all that frozen fish. Oh, no. We just got to go in traps today. Yeah, I know. So maybe that when we go that way, we will. Yeah. Heck, yeah. Slot in the boat. Oh, yeah. You cut yourself? No, I got... I got Oh, stand by Tilapia. Yeah. Nice job. All right, we got to close the cooler now, babe. Close the cooler then. Well, you were saying leave it open before. Oh, no. Now you got to close it. All right, first trap. We've decided to switch it up now. We're done with our troll. So sick to have dinner in the boat. Now, hopefully, any crabs we get will just be icing on the cake. I want to have a dinner, we a We got snack. a slack tide, and we got, like, the water's so low, so it's just perfect to do this right now because no fish are going to be biting. I want to have crab. I want to have a crab, crab appetizer with my snook dinner. Crab rolled in snook. Ooh. Feels pretty empty. Looks empty. Here are a couple of my good friends, the catfish. <laughs> Woohoo! Yep. Darn. That's all right. Well, we had a feeling since we waited too long to check them that this would happen. Um, yeah, it's been a while. Don't do what we do. Okay, this nice. one trap. Yep, it's just one. One out of ten. We're gonna kind of just breeze through it today because we would have caught a, we would have caught dinner. <laughs> but we have a, a million videos on how to make the traps, how to trap, how to eat them, how to cook them, and so we'll put some links down below if you want some more detailed video on that. Woo! Oh yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. It's five, five awesome. in there. Weird. Purple crab, and then we got a couple of the regulars. Those look like they're from the ocean. And we definitely got to keep a, you know, there's a couple keepers in here for sure. Nice. Heck yeah. You know, it's weird because we Woo! just had. Th well, that's nice. It's a nice claw. Yeah. Lefty. Awesome. You got a lefty. Awesome. Yeah, I was going to say, it's weird because just over there we have three traps and we yeah. caught no crabs yet. Not one crab. Zero. And then here we go, we got it's full. So it's yeah. just. Well, Each one know. we got to keep a claw on them. Pretty, nice. pretty confident. All right. All right. You want to start breaking them off? Yeah, so let's, start, let's go. You got your knife over there. All right, let's do it. Brian's a knife guy today. Oh, I didn't do very good last time. Next to the gaff. I remember uh, Isaiah was better. Isaiah was the man last time. Yes. All right, let's see if I can duplicate his results. Right here? Yeah. I do it up like this or like that? I would go down and then, and then you go, no, turn the knife around. Yeah, you go in and then go up with the blade. Just up, yep. Nice. Just like a little up. You're like shoving it through, but I yeah. think you just have to go in and then turn your knife up like yeah. that. Yeah, good. And wiggle it. 
All right, All right, we just keep one. Beautiful male, All right. let him go. So we use a variety of bait, the stuff that Darcy shoots in the canal, yes. carcasses and pig's feet we buy in bulk. And yeah, we've got four crabs out of that, four claws, so you know, we're getting one a, one a per pot, which is pretty much what you're gonna, that's like what we call a good day here in Boynton. It's not the epicenter of, of stone crabbing in Florida at all. Yup, and um, yeah, this one had, even almost four weeks later, still had bait, like still had meat on the bones and stuff. So maybe yeah. that's why we got crabs. Yeah, these, the pig's feet last a long time and then you put them in these cups and that preserves it. Look at this claw. Oh my Lord. Oh my God, bro. That's upsetting. God, Jeez. absolutely incredibly huge crab. Any keepers in there? No. That's what we get. Now you guys, now you see, <laughs> lesson learned. <laughs> Check your traps. That sucks. Check your traps in a timely manner. We have no keepers. And, um, oh, actually we might. You guys ask me all the time too about this. I tried them in a couple traps earlier in the season. Somebody told me to try this out. I try what like out? To put them in the trap, see if it tracks crabs. To put cans in the trap. Yeah, yeah okay. I don't really think it, <laughs> it's made any difference, but I'm just leaving no. it there for the heck of it because it's not floating out, so. Yeah. All right, let's get this one out. You might keep. Yeah, it's gonna keep. All right, we got one. Let me see. All day. Nice. And we've been using the lobster gauge side. Yeah. Because when it's just barely legal, it's just not it's just not big enough. There's no claw. There's no meat. It's right, like no meat. not worth it. And I'm surprised they let you keep claws when they were even shorter back in the day. They've been slowly increasing the size limit. All right. There you go. Oh, you got to go down to the back. Right. But you're always, always like, you put it in and you try to go through the other side of the claw. But you go in, touch the back of it, lift right. the blade like that, it pops off. All right. All right. Let him do go. Oh my goodness. Look at that. A monster. I'll make a crab claw necklace out yes. of it. Yes. Just, just to re at Ugh. I'm so mad. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I, I mentioned before we had a million videos on this stuff, but just to re reiterate real quick, the crab, the claws grow back. It'll get a claw in like a year, maybe two to three to grow full size but it's renewable. So that's why we throw the crab body back in the water, okay? Because the claw grows back. Yes. Then they become filter feeders. They dig in the mud, okay? Go to myfwc.com if you want more information, but don't be, just don't be yelling at people <laughs> because they're following the regulations, that's all. That's all we can ask for. Good talk. Beautiful day out with my beautiful girlfriend. Ribbon, ribbon. Another ribbon. I oh, marked fish them. on, fish on. Another one. Fish I marked on. them on the machine. There were so many. We're I was like, up. how are you not hooking up. up? We're doubled up. I was like, how are you not hooking up? Woo! All right. <laughs> Once again, the big lure just got ate by a ribbon fish. I knew it. Let's see if we can get him in the boat here. Woo! Nice. Look at that crazy little thing. We catch so many of them. Brian's got one too. Wow. Wow, big one. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. They're so cool. Damn, they oh, eating get, the big baits, the little baits. Let me baits. get a quick video. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Whoa, we got one over here. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. No way. Turn off that so engine. So sick. I didn't even know. Holy cow. I told you, dude, I went over this thing. I was like, I think I'm marking them. I can't believe I'm hooking up right now. And then we got a triple. We've never got a triple or even a double of these before. Line, yeah. You're going over the top, under the, up, oh, that way. Yep, you're good. Oh, no, back this way. You're back, yeah, there you go, perfect. You're, you're good. Go home in. We're trying. We got a mess, but that's okay. That's okay. Whoa, baby. <laughs> Jeez. Woo. Woo. Get the camera, get the camera. Oh, they're off, they're all off. All right. All right. There's three. Whoa, that was really <laughs> close. Holy cow. All right. <laughs> Crazy. Wow. That was really cool. They're <laughs> awesome. fun to catch. Yeah. And Every again, lure. like I was telling you guys, I, I was just doing, making an instructional guide on how to troll inshore with these exact lures. And this is really just solidifying everything I was putting in there. So if you're interested in that, drop, drop in the comments, okay? Checking the last half of our traps. Hopefully we got some goodies. Yeah, now these are the traps we moved a while ago, if you guys remember. I see some dudes in there. Dudes? Dudes. Some crabs. I don't know. I can't make any crab jokes because, you know, people are dumb. 
<laughs> uh, I mean, boys are dumb. Not boys really people. Are dumb. Just, pre just boys. Just boys. One. No claw. No claw. Oh, yeah. Five. Oh, nice. One, Any two, keepers? three, four, five. Yeah, we're like right in these people's backyards. Yeah. So it's like, I save so much on taxes just fishing right in their backyards. <laughs> and insurance. None of these people go on the water. No, they don't go outside. I, I have a better view than they do. Oh, wiggle, they go up and down with the blade. Yeah, like that. There you go. See? Jeez, you're good. I watched Isaiah do it. That's what I gotta do. Like you go in and then you just lift the knife up, not like this. <laughs> up, up. All right. Taking Brian a lot of tries. I'm gonna keep trying though. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Believe purple... it or not, I got. The, do you know what award I got? Like in varsity football, I was like all league or whatever too. But like in the, at the uh, inter squad awards, like someone gets like best player. That wasn't me, but I got like the coach's award. I think it means like you're the most coachable or something. So it didn't carry over to crabbing, is my point. Maybe I was the coach's favorite. Maybe I learned the fastest. <laughs> I'm smarter than I look. Trust, that's all I can say about that. And that's a fail. Not a thing. Ugh. All right. I gotta tell you, Sizzle, try and what? move that butt a little to the side. I think, I, I really think it's, it's been so warm this year. It's been really warm, incredibly warm. The high today is like 89. Yeah, like I was saying before. There we go. We got a big old Wahoo carcass. Hopefully you guys saw that video. Don't drip it on me. Hopefully you guys saw that video a couple weeks ago had. when we slayed it. Yeah. And so it's been super warm. And again, not just today, but the average temperature has just been so high. So the water temperature doesn't drop and things don't happen. And actually the FAU was just saying, the FAU... FAU has a team of scientists and researchers that study the black tip shark migration. And which is a major migration that comes down. It's a big event and everything. I can put some B-roll here. It's beautiful and awesome. And uh, they said on their Facebook, they have not been posting at all about it. They usually post their observations from the drone and other sharks they catch. And, and they posted the other day, after I hadn't seen anything for a long time, that it's the least sharks they've seen in, tw in the 12 years of research. So pretty bad. And we've also been noticing this, the migration gets less and less every year. It yeah. It doesn't take much for the water temperature to change uh, a, an average of a degree or half a degree for a season. And the sharks come down and they don't go, you know, they just stop when it gets to that water temperature and they go back. They don't come all the way down here. You know, they go back and, well, they, not as many come back down or whatever it is. We also didn't see any bluefish. The, we usually have like a big, a little bit of a bluefish bite in, yeah, in here in shore this year, time of year. Sheep's head has been bad. Well, we haven't really tried for sheep's head. Although some people are kind of just sheep's head. We, I mean, we haven't really tried for any, but. And, the, you know, the water temperature right now is 80 degrees. It's February 27th. Water, <laughs> so, you know, you can't expect some winter fish to become down, you know. You can't expect the migration to be the same. We do have an incredible ribbon fish bite, though. All right, guys, we're back at the house. Time to fillet up. My gorgeous slot snook. Just got my knives extra sharp with my sharpening block or stone, whatever it tries to hone from Smith. And we got my two knives today. But let's just do this. I don't think I've actually filleted a fish yet with my Darcy's little snook with my Darcy's little knife. I don't think so. I could be wrong. But again, I don't really catch too many keepers. So let's dive right into this. And um, to fillet this fish, they have crazy, crazy scales because they live by the structure. They live on the docks. They live right along the pilings, anywhere that there's structure. They like to sit right up on it. So they are covered in scales because that's where they live. So cutting way up into the head, I'm gonna turn that knife around and wait till you guys see all these scales come off. Just full of scales, tough fish to fillet. But I am so excited to have Snook for dinner. I am starving. And we eat the fish as much as we possibly can, but we do go through phases where we don't eat fish just because it depends on what we're catching or what we're doing. Sorry about the Amazon truck making some noise there. And then I'm just taking my time, going down his backbone. Like I said, I bled this fish earlier, so this meat should look extra, extra pretty. I'm excited. Bending the blade. I'm gonna go over these rib cage bones. There we go. Wow, look at that. 
delicious. It's gonna be amazing. They used to call this fish the soap fish because if you leave the skin on, it would taste like soap. And this fish actually, that might be roe. I think that's roe. So that's a female snook, slot keeper. And by the way, guys, I forgot to mention earlier, but Hair Club, like I said, this video is brought to you by Hair Club. I'm gonna link the products that I love to use down below in the description for you guys. And you can also complete a free hair health checkup online. It's very simple, it's free. I'm gonna have that link down below as well. And I have a promo code, Darcizzle, and you're gonna save 10% on whatever you buy on their website or um, even when you go in for your consultation. If you wanna do that, it's up to you. But hair, no hair, women, men, they can help you all ages. And my hair has been in the best health it's ever been. And um, I use all their UV protection and their EXT products. So once again, I'll link that down below for you guys. And then I just switch my blade to the larger eight inch blade. Th that way, this is a little short and I don't wanna mess, miss as I skin this fish, but they have a very thick skin, so it's hard to cut through it. So you should be able to do this pretty easily. But this is the most important step. You cannot leave the skin on a snook. It will taste like soap. All right, there we go. Look at that, beauty. And there's really nothing to remove. I mean, this is a little bit of a bloodline, but a snook, you have to have a snook permit to even keep them if they're of legal size. So all I'm really gonna do is just lightly clean it up, but I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm not taking chunks of meat out. Um, we're gonna eat as much as we possibly can of this fish. And like I said, since I bled them, there's really no blood left in this meat. Even though you see a bloodline, that's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna get the skin, I'm gonna get the pin bones out and then I'll meet y'all in the house for the cooking with pudding portion of this video. What's up guys, to get my fly zippered up. Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Pudding. And thanks to our again for cleaning up that snook. I'm making a great meal here. Come on over here guys. Come here, look, Darcy's is behind the camera for the moment, come over here. I got the snook, now start, part of it was really thick. So I had to like, I cut it in half because we want everything to cook fairly evenly. You got your pan over here. I'm gonna cook the fish in the, in, the, in the pan. I'm gonna put too much in here. You're not supposed to fill the pan up this much, but we're gonna do it anyway. Let's put the thin pieces on the outside, all right? Then we're gonna make, oh, then of course we have all our crab claws. So I'm gonna be making a butter and cream sauce with some garlic and uh, some lemon. And I've been chopping up some claws. It's gonna be a crab sauce, crab butter cream sauce with all these big chunks I've made, all right? So I'm gonna let that sit for about three or four minutes on one side and then I'm gonna flip it. We'll be right back. All right guys, I'm, I'm about to flip it. It's been in about four minutes. I just wanna show you what we're doing here, all right? So I already flipped this one. I got big fat hands in the way. And you see, this, when they start to get white on the edges, you know they're getting to be cooked. See, this one I'm gonna flip right now, okay? And these are gonna flip real soon. This one I can flip, right? And you see this one is uh, separating or flaking. And so I just wanna keep you guys up to date. This is how you do it. You don't wanna over, oh my gosh. All right, we're almost done. I just wanna show you the process. All right, so now when it's done, come over and take a look, sizzle nice and close. You're just gonna use your fork, okay? And you, I had this like this, so it was hotter in the middle with a thick part and I had this little thin part over here. So that's all done. Look at this piece. Look at that flaking off there. That's insane. Delicious. All right, we're gonna put that to the side. All right, now I'm gonna turn this down. Now, one thing I like about this, I'm kind of going from the hip today. I've made a sauce like this many times, but this one, I'm just gonna keep it right in the same pan, all right? So we're not gonna dirty another pan. I'm gonna put a little bit of fish in here. Not enough broke off for me. Here we go. I'm gonna throw some butter in here. We're just eyeballing this. This isn't baking, okay? Turn this down a lot. I made the turtle off over here. More butter. Here we go, here we go. Crab, let's break that up. We're getting all that sauces from the bottom, all the crunchies. Now we're gonna use heavy cream as our main ingredient. I would put about a cup in this. Depends on how much sauce you wanna make, you're gonna use this. The gauge. So whatever, don't let, the, don't, don't, don't let that overcook. You don't want it to boil too much. All right, now we're gonna, we're gonna reduce that down a little bit. I got, boiled, got it going down a little bit here, you see it? Look at that. Now I'm gonna add some more stuff. Oh, I want to mention, I, I, do, I was cutting those claws up or breaking them up for this meal. 
And we keep this part, and that's what Darcy makes the stone crab necklaces out of. So check out darcyzoloffshore.com, check it out. And uh, so that's pretty cool. So those are all, all unique that ones Darcy caught that you'll be buying. Nice, nice. So we're gonna put in some, uh, we're gonna put in some crushed garlic. Oh, we got the stuff going off. We're gonna make sure this doesn't overheat. More garlic, where's more garlic? So here we go, right here. Nice, look at that. You love it? All right, we're gonna do half of a bouillon cube. Where is it? Right here. Oh, should open it first. I thought that was gonna cut in half. I usually put in a full bouillon cube, bouillon cube but it was just too, it was too much, it was too much. Let's let that get mixed in there. All right, then I'm gonna make it, this is like also can be a, like a lemon sauce. I'm not gonna put too much lemon in here. I don't really like it that much, a ton. I'm gonna make it a little sweeter today. We got the crab. Just, we're gonna do this all the taste. You heard that buzzer goes off? That means my asparagus is done. Woo! Hot mama. Here we go. Looking good. Put that around top to keep the fish warm. Let's give it a taste. Oh my lord. Needs a little bit. Put in the secret ingredient. What is that? That's sugar. Sugar. Delicious. We're gonna plate. All right, guys. We can see how it's some asparagus on here. Beautiful piece of fish. Nice. Oh, look at this, guys. Delicious. Let's take it to the table. All right, your sizzle. It's so good. <laughs> I like my hair. It's you nice and dark. Even film yes. <laughs> yes. His hair is all dark. I dyed it. Darcy loves it when it's dyed. Because I look younger. Yes, I prefer it. <laughs> yes. So, snook is a, a fairly firm white meat. It's one of the best fish you can get. And like Darcy said outside, people didn't eat it for, for like centuries or decades because they thought it tasted like soap. But then you just take the skin off. It's an amazing fish. Yeah. Super special. Like I said, once again, we really don't catch these guys. So we, we release 98% of the snook we catch throughout the year. Literally. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so super delicious. I mean, this meal is amazing. As he was cooking it, my stomach was growling. No, but tell him so, about the sauce. It's, it's so, so good. It's so good. The sauce is really thick this time. He didn't put a lot of cream, which is better for you. No, no it was butter. Butter makes it thicker. And then we, you know, like you reduce it a little bit and then they put the lemon in there and just thickens the whole thing up. Oh man, yeah, now I taste the crab. It's good. Mm -hmm. We're so lucky. Fresh stone crab and snook for dinner. What? Astronomical, guys. Thank you so much for following along. Yes, I'm gonna literally stuff my face. I'll finish this in five minutes. You don't wanna see that. But, but, but thank you for following along for everything else with all our awesome adventures and all kinds of stuff we have coming up. So yeah. until next time, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Everything you talked about, description below. Yes.